Hey everyone, uh, we're working on some some of these ornaments on the whiteboard chalkboard material. So I'm just gonna run a couple tests real quick. On settings, I have a basic. We're gonna do 150 twice, 180 twice. 130, 140, 150, 160, just a cut and a score. Uh, unmasked, just to see what the wood looks like uh, when we're done. Test is gonna be about three minutes, so let's go ahead and fire it up. Just using some scrap from some previous fireman ones. While that's cutting, this is the whiteboard chalkboard from Lowe's. It's uh, 0 0.118 thick. The Home Depot stuff is 0.18 to 0.20, so quite a bit thicker. It's shiny white on one side, kind of shiny black on the other. Um, usually the black side, depending on how fast you cut, you can just wipe it off. Uh, white will see, sometimes it flakes, that just depends on uh, and how slow we had to go. Oh, um, for Lowe's, this item number is, uh, ooh, it's tiny, 907231. Uh, I know they have some other stuff, um, but that's the one you want, 907231. FYI, it's not done yet, but that 150 twice already fell through, so that's good. Uh, we'll see how these guys are in a sec. All right, so we are done. Uh, I'm gonna tell you, clean machine helps. I have a clean air assist, clean little fan on the back of this guy. Uh, I just cleaned all my lenses right before I started. So let's see how this turned out. I can already see almost, I think everything succeeded. Maybe the 160, let's see. So, 130, 150, 140 all fell through. 150 twice fell through. Uh, 180 twice. That that worked. Uh, you would do that just to to cut through it like at 180 and not have any any uh, chipping of your white. Uh, 160. Man, 160 is right there. Uh, yeah. I'd say that's acceptable. So I didn't go faster, but uh, not bad. All right, so does this stuff clean up? Uh, that's, that should be a pretty good test, 180 twice. And then maybe one, let's go really slow. Like, let's clean that guy. So LA Awesome, uh, I'm one-handed, so <laughs> forgive me here. In fact, uh, maybe I'll, I'll pause and wipe it off real quick. All right, so how'd we do? Um, 180 twice, wiped off. Looks pretty darn clean. I think that's just some dust. 130, it's my slowest cut I did. Looks like it wiped pretty darn clean too. So next up, let's, let's make an ornament. While I'm setting this up, I'm going to give you a trick. You already have a gap over here you can't get to. So I just put uh, some pins, uh, two slots over. I also uh, pin right here in the first hole at the bottom. I use a pin on each side to hold it down. Also, that's a spacer. Uh, another good thing about this is if your cut didn't go through, I know where to put it right back, right? So I can just go hit go on my job again and my wood is right back where it was so I don't gotta screw around with realigning it or anything. Uh, I don't have any warp so I'm not gonna move these pins back here. Okay, so what I'm doing, I'm gonna cut the ornament. I'm gonna cut the spot for the stripe instead of scoring it. We're gonna paint that and then drop it back in here. And I'm going to cut the backer. Now the backer um, is symmetric, so we can just flip it over. So through the magic of TV, I just moved my wood to the black side up. And we're going to 
we're gonna cut this out of black, like we're supposed to, and then we're gonna cut this out of black. But we're just gonna turn it over so we got the white side up. Um, uh, so based on what we just did with my test, um, 160 full one pass worked. So we're gonna try that. Um, I have set it to 160 full one pass and auto. And before I start, um, also, um, my material thickness right now is zero inches. Uh, I wanted to put 0 0.18 or 118 in there, but uh, it wasn't letting me before I started my other test. So hopefully that doesn't screw me up. But I'm also going to go ahead and set focus before we hit cut. <clears throat> Make sure we're all good. All right, one full ornament, three and a half minutes. That's not bad at all. Let's go ahead and start her up. And then we'll, uh, we'll be right back. It's a clean air assist, kicking all that dust out. Hopefully it cut through. Sometimes your uh, your little tests work and your your big cut doesn't. So where are we at? In. Well, okay, the top was a pretty good sign. Uh, see how my bottom's hanging on just a tab? Boop, drops. All right. I would say that's acceptable. Maybe you could change to like 155 next time, but yeah, that's good. So let me clean this off and see, see how it looks. All right, I'm gonna jump in here to say I had to just tap all these little things to pop out. Um, I would go like, maybe change it to 150, 155 next time. Uh, the other ones I did, uh, of course that was 130 twice. Uh, all these little pieces stayed on the bed when I was done. Um, as you can see, my main stripe here, not quite there. Uh, I'm going to help it out this time. Uh, it's kind of push. Um, but next time, slow it down just a tad. All right, so how we do? That looks pretty darn good. This guy is pretty good. However, I would probably mask it. Just... Uh, for perfectionists, that little bit of bubbly black right there. Um, little bit right there. If you masked it, that wouldn't be there. So what do you do now? Well, we saved saved this guy. Let's, let's spray it. There's nobody home. Give that a minute to dry. While it's drying, uh, I'm gonna glue this up. I love these things, this super glue from Harbor Freight. It's, uh, I don't know, about three bucks for 10 of them. And uh, there's a gel kind and a liquid kind. Liquid, I get a lot of projects out of. Gel, I gotta squeeze it to like 90% to get anything out. So uh, I prefer that one. All right, so I'm off a little bit heavy handed on the glue. Uh, I ran a bead down each each stripe sporadically around the back and uh, got our white backer here um, this might be sacrificial because I would totally love to be using two hands for this all right LA awesome bottle to the rescue again this super glue is not very forgiving also, if you put it in the wrong spot, it will leave a glossy mark on your ornament. So try to get it lined up the first time. All right. Um, I also like to put put like two sides on a table. That way, 
you're you're kind of aligned. You're kind of solid there. And then as soon as our blue stripe will dry, add just a little bit right here and drop it in. Oh, I hit the button. All right, so this is wet, but I'm not going to touch it. So I'm I'm cheating. You would probably let it dry all the way, but my phone's almost dead. So let's let's drop it in. All right. Uh, so you can see I was just a little bit off on the side. That's what happens when you do it one-handed. I'll probably just take a a sharpie or something and make that less noticeable or demo I have lots of demo stuff so anyway there you go I hope that was helpful uh, I'm always in the groups um, hang out on Glowforge world and here Terry Paisley uh, lithos and lasers .com, facebook.com slash lithos and lasers Bye, everybody